One of my favorite parts of construction is the framing, and we're going to talk about rough framing walls. So on this particular page, we're going to skip past the subflooring, and we're going to move down to wall framing systems. Hey, uh, two main types of walls used in residential construction are two by four walls and two by six walls, which are on the next page. We'll focus on two by four walls today. Standard construction is eight feet high. So if I wanted to make a basic house, garage, shed, or whatever, we would be looking in this section right here. Okay, and this includes your standard wall, just like we learn about in school. So we've got our studs, the treated bottom plate. We want a treated plate on the bottom so any moisture that comes up through the concrete foundation doesn't get uh, wicked up into the system itself. And a double plot top plate. And this also includes one row of fire blocking. That's the uh, cross pieces that go across the middle. The first thing we notice on this is the unit being used is LF, which means lineal feet. So if I have a building I'm going to make, and let's say it's eight feet by six feet, and I'm going to put a wall around all four sides, we have to include the entire perimeter. So eight plus eight is 16, six plus six is 12, 16 plus 12 is 28, 28 feet to make that room. Now this does take into account the fact that we have on the corners of our walls, we've got our California corners built in there. So we've got our studs going along like so every 16 inches. But when we get to the corner, we've got a stud here and a stud here for our backing. And sometimes we'll do a double stud right there and a stud there. So you've got a bunch of extra studs in the corner there. This factors that in. It's got some waste built in for that. On this one, we'll notice a difference between the uh, material and labor between this and concrete. Remember concrete, the material was considerably more. In this case, the labor is going to take more time. There's a lot of time in measuring and cutting and setting up. So to figure out the cost of our wall, if we're just installing the wall, we're going to use this row right here. 475 plus 735 is going to be $12.10. Our wall is 28 feet. So to find the cost of our wall, it would be 1210 times 28. We can use a calculator on that. $338.80. Now, that does not include demolition of the old wall. So if you're taking down an old wall, you'd have to add that part in. Again, on each of these jobs, there is a minimum charge. In this case, it's $221. At $338, we're well past the minimum, so we don't need to consider this. That's pretty much it. Unless you want to tear down the old wall first, and then you just need to do the same thing we just did with that cost right there. And of course, as the wall gets taller, the cost goes up. There you go, framing in a nutshell. This is the easy way to, to uh, estimate a wall frame.